Addition of integers. We follow two rules while adding integers. These rules are 1. To add a positive integer means we move to the right of the number line. 2. To add a negative integer means we move to the left of the number line. Let us understand addition of integers using these examples. Example 1. Add minus 2 and 3. We write this problem like this. Minus 2 plus 3. We use a number line to solve this problem. Mark the first integer on the number line. Since we are adding a positive integer, that is plus 3. So, as per our rule, we start from our first integer, minus 2, and move 3 steps towards right. We reach at 1. Therefore, minus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1. Example 2. Add minus 2 and minus 3. We write this problem as minus 2 plus minus 3. Since we cannot write two signs one after the other like this, we put a bracket here. Using the number line, we first mark the first integer, that is minus 2. Since we are adding a negative integer, that is minus 3, so as per our rule, we need to move three steps towards left. We reach at minus 5. Therefore, minus 2 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 5. We can also write this problem as minus 2 plus minus 3, which is equal to minus 2 minus 3, equal to minus 5. Remember the important points. 1. Plus and minus becomes minus. 2. For adding two negative numbers, we add their values and prefix minus sign to their sum. Example 3. Add 3 and minus 5. We write this problem as 3 plus minus 5. Since we are adding a negative integer, that is minus 5, so as per our rule, we need to move 5 steps towards left. We reach at minus 2. Therefore, 3 plus minus 5 is equal to minus 2. We can also write this problem as 3 plus minus 5, which is equal to 3 minus 5 equal to minus 2. Remember the important points. 1. Plus and minus becomes minus. This is our first sign rule. 2. For adding a positive integer and a negative integer, we find the difference in their values and prefix the sign of the integer with greater value to the difference. Example 1. Find the sum of this problem. Before solving this problem, let us do a small recap of all the important points that we have studied till now. We know that 1. Plus and minus becomes minus. 2. For adding two negative numbers, we add their values and prefix minus sign to their sum. 3. For adding a positive integer and a negative integer, we find the difference in their values and prefix the sign of the integer with greater value to the difference. Let us solve this problem stepwise. Step 1. Look for double signs. If there are any double signs, then remove that first. This becomes minus 2 minus 3 plus 4 minus 4 minus 2. Step 2. Look for opposite numbers. If there are any opposite numbers, then cancel that out. We see that minus 4 and plus 4 cancels each other as they are opposite to each other. Step 3. Start solving the problem from left. Consider first two integers, find their sum and add the third integer to it. Here, minus 5 minus 2 is equal to minus 7. Remember, for adding two negative numbers, we add their values and prefix minus sign to their sum. Example 2. Find the sum of 56, minus 72, minus 86 and 29. Write the problem as 56 plus minus 72 plus minus 86 plus 29. Step 1. Remove the double signs. 56 
minus 72 minus 86 plus 29. Step 2. Look for opposite numbers. As this problem doesn't have any opposite numbers, we will go ahead to step 3. That is, start solving the problem from left side. So, 56 minus 72 gives minus 16. Bring down the rest of the integers. Now, minus 16 minus 86 gives minus 102. Again, bring down the last integer. Minus 102 plus 29 gives minus 73. Subtraction of integers. We have studied in our previous class that addition and subtraction are inverse operations. If 5 plus 3 equals to 8, then 8 minus 3 equals 5. We will apply the same understanding in learning how the integers are subtracted. We have studied that 1. To add positive integer, we move right on a number line. 2. To add negative integer, we move left. Now, since addition and subtraction are opposites, our rule becomes 1. To subtract positive integer, we move left on a number line. 2. To subtract negative integer, we move right. Let us understand this by taking examples. Example 1. Subtract 3 from 2. We write this problem as 2 minus 3. We use a number line to solve this problem. Mark the first integer on the number line. Since we are subtracting a positive integer, that is 3, so as per our rule, we start from our first integer, 2, and move 3 steps towards left. We reach at minus 1. Therefore, 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1. Another method of solving the same problem would be by using the rule. For subtracting two positive integers, we find the difference in their values and prefix the sign of the integer with greater value to the difference. Therefore, 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1. Example 2. Subtract 1 from minus 3. Write the problem as minus 3 minus 1. We use a number line to solve this problem. Mark the first integer on the number line. Since we are subtracting a positive integer, that is 1, so as per our rule, we start from our first integer, minus 3, and move one step towards left. We reach at minus 4. Therefore, minus 3 minus 1 is equal to minus 4. Another method of solving the same problem would be by using the rule. For subtracting one positive integer and one negative integer, we find the sum of their values and prefix the sign of the integer with minus. Therefore, minus 3 minus 1 is equal to minus 4. Example 3. Subtract minus 3 from 2. Here, write the problem as 2 minus minus 3 which can be written as 2 plus 3. Using the number line to solve this problem, we mark the first integer on the number line. Since we are subtracting a negative integer, that is minus 3, so as per our rule, we start from our first integer, 2, and move 3 steps towards right. We reach at 5. Therefore, 2 minus minus 3 is equal to 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5. We see here that minus and minus makes plus. This is our second sign rule. Example 4. Subtract minus 2 from minus 1. We write this problem as minus 1 minus minus 2. Using the above rule, we get minus 1 plus 2, which is equal to 1. Remember the sign rules for addition and subtraction. To add two positive integers, we add them like natural numbers. To add two negative integers, we add their absolute values and put a negative sign to the integer obtained. To add a positive and a negative integer, we find the difference of their absolute values and put the sign of the larger integer.